Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk uh, about how Bitcoin incentivizes building because this is something that a lot of people have been asking about. Uh, specifically, you know, a lot of altcoins have a developer subsidy or a dev tax or something like that where they literally incentivize developers through use of their coin. They'll um, oftentimes uh, pay the developers or uh, give them some sort of incentive to at least earn the coin, not necessarily hold the coin. And this is a very big difference, hold versus actually earn. So a lot of them will earn um, you know, a significant amount of coin. A lot of them will sell. A lot of them will you know, keep it or whatever. Uh, but the question that a lot of people have is, okay, well, how come Bitcoin doesn't have it? Why, how, you know, how are Bitcoin developers uh, incentivized? And the, the honest answer is that Bitcoin developers are incentivized because they already hold. And holding is a very different thing than earning. I mean, are you earn to hold, but oftentimes, uh, I mean, you can earn to hold, but oftentimes you earn just to make a living, right? Like, a, and a lot of these people, they'll earn and then they will sell. Um, I, I remember a long time ago, Mastercoin had a had, had you know developer subsidies for a long time, and they they incentivize development through use of bounties. Uh, but their price dropped significantly at a certain point because. A lot of these developers are like, I don't want to hold this. I, I'd rather go and buy something else. And that's that's indeed what they did. And that caused the price to crash. So earning it uh, to hold versus earning it just to spend, those are very, very different things. Um, one is the first, uh, you know, to, you know, if you earn it to hold, that causes the price, uh, you know, that means that you believe it in a, uh, believe in it as a store of value that causes the price to rise. But if you don't believe in it and you sell, um, well, then that's going to cause the price to crash. And depending on how much money you are earning, uh, you know, th this can have a very detrimental effect on the price. So, um, you know, the, these are things that a lot of people have to think about uh, with with respect to that. But the, the real question is, well, how does Bitcoin um, help the, you know, help with the incentives. Well, Bitcoin, a lot of the developers already own Bitcoin, right? Or they, they've owned it for a long time. So uh, the question then might be, okay, well, how do we get them to, you know, continue developing? Well, some of them do it because they want to see the world change. The, uh, some of them do it because they want their investment to get better. Some of them do it for both reasons. So uh, there are uh, Bitcoin core devs that don't own any Bitcoin, uh, believe it or not. There, there are some that are, you know, in college or something like that. Some, some even in high school. Um, and you know, uh, they they have all different uh, motivations. The key thing, though, is that they are motivated intrinsically as opposed to being motivated extrinsically. And internal motivation is almost always stronger than external motivation. If you are curious about a topic, you will learn way more than if your employer pays you to go and learn it. Um, and you know, I mean, th this is just part of human nature. Intrinsic motivation is always, you know, like stronger. And what you end up, you, you've ended up with in Bitcoin are lots of intrinsically motivated people, lots of people that want to work on this because they think this is sound money, that this will change the world, that things will get a lot better as a result of Bitcoin, that it is world changing technology, that, uh, you know, building up civilization as a result of the, you know, sound money existing. That is a great thing. That is a great thing. I'll get more into it in another video, but that's how Bitcoin developers are incentivized. Now, I mean, uh, I, some, are incentivized one way, some another way. Uh, other people just think it's a really cool tech, um, and that that's normal with open source. But to say, okay, we need a particular path in which they are always motivated, um, that doesn't necessarily work with human nature. Um, a lot of people believe different things for different reasons. Anyway, hopefully that helps you. Um, I'll do more videos like this uh, that explain the economic and tech um, intersection. This song is...